Hello everyone. Welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will discuss about the intercalary and the lateral meristem. The learning objectives will be to explain the features as well as the functions of the intercalary and the lateral meristem. Now, before we move on to the intercalary and lateral meristem, let us just have a quick recap of the plant tissues. So we all know that plant needs to grow and perform different types of functions just like any other living being. So to perform these functions plants have some tissues. So the tissues of the plant that is the aggregation of similar cells of the plant perform is of two types the meristematic tissue and the permanent tissue. Now in the meristematic tissue we learn that the meristematic cells are continuously dividing cells which get differentiated later to form permanent tissues which have lost the capacity of division. Now these meristematic tissues on the basis of their location were of three types apical meristem, intercalary meristem and the lateral meristem. Now this was based on their location. So we studied in apical meristem it is present at the tip of the stem and the tip of the root and it is responsible for increase in length of the plant. Let us now see what is the function as well as the location of intercalary and the lateral meristem. So first intercalary meristem. Inter means in between. So it is found in between the plant. Now have you ever seen a cow grazing on grasses? Now what do you think a gardener who is cutting the grasses every alternate week does the grass never grow back? We have all seen that after a few days the grass start growing back and increases in the length. Now how does that happen? Since the apical meristem is cut, how is it growing in length? The reason is the intercalary meristem. So the intercalary meristem cells have meristematic activity present between the permanent tissue regions which means that those regions which are permanent or which are not dividing in between those regions there are cells which are continuously dividing. Have a look at the picture. So this is a node. We all know what is a node, right? The node gives rise to a leaf. So in between the two nodal regions there is an internode. The space between two nodes is known as internode. So if we imagine a plant, if this is a node this is a node, this region is the internode. So intercalary meristem is present around the nodal regions. So this is the area where continuously dividing cells are present and these meristematic cells, what do they do? They lead to formation of branches, young leaves, right? So they are portions of apical meristem only. So apical meristem got separated from the apical meristem and formed the axillary bud and in the axillary bud region is present the intercalary meristem. They are found at the base of the young leaves at the internodal regions. Now they are included in primary meristem which means they are the early form meristem. Their function is also like apical meristem further increase in length of the plant. So they are also increasing the length of the plant. Imagine a bamboo plant, right? So this is the example of a bamboo plant only. This is the node of a bamboo plant. So this region around the node is dividing continuously apart from the fact that entire outer covering of bamboo plant or the nodal region is very hard. But these cells are the soft cells which keep on dividing and lead to increase in length of the plant. They occur in the sheath of the crasses and basically the intercalary meristem is found in the monocots. Next is the lateral meristem. Now you might have seen that a plant grows to a particular length till that time its stem is very thin. But after few years, 2, 3, 5 years, you see that the, that the stem has become very big, very very increased in its girth, right? The diameter of the stem has increased very much. So what is the reason for that? So the increase in the diameter or the girth of the stem is because of the lateral meristem. Now the lateral meristem is found in the mature regions of the root as well as the shoot of many plants. So we all of us know that the stem is very hard. It is made up of bark. It is woody. 
right so in those woody regions which are the mature regions of permanent made up of permanent tissues there are certain cells which have redifferentiated like they have again become meristematic from being permanent and they have regained their power to divide and this power to divide leads to formation of new new layers in a stem and leads to increase in the girth of the stem so they are produced later so they are produced not early in the life of the plant but later in the life of the plant so they are called secondary meristem they are the part of secondary meristem they are found along basically the sides of a stem thus lead to increase in the girth of the stem they play vital role in increasing width already discussed now the herbaceous or the new green plants they do not have lateral meristem in them so lateral meristem is responsible for secondary growth and the intercalary and the apical meristem were responsible for primary growth examples is fascicular cambium fascicular vascular cambium interfascicular cambium cock cambium see in the diagram clearly you can see this region will later increase in the girth and make a big plant big round stem so this is the lateral meristem region these two are the apical meristem region cor cambium and vascular cambium are the parts of lateral meristem thus to summarize we can say that the meristematic tissue is responsible for active cell division it is thin walled and it keeps on dividing it does not have intercellular spaces in them on the basis of position this meristem is of three types apical intercalary and lateral the apical meristem is present at the tip of the plant leads to increase in length of the plant it is present at the tip of shoot and tip of root the intercalary meristem it is derived from the permanent tissue regions present inside the permanent tissue regions also responsible for further increase in the length found at the base of the young leaves and internodes so it is responsible for further increase in length of the plant next is the lateral meristem the lateral meristem occurs in the mature regions of the root and the shoot and this lateral meristem is responsible for increase in girth or the diameter of the plant and it is responsible for secondary growth derived from secondary meristem so this was all about the meristematic tissues now in the upcoming videos we will discuss about the permanent tissues till then thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning